Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, and today we're looking at the FMS in the Dash 8 in x 11. A flight management system, or FMS, is part of an aircraft's avionics. An FMS reduces the workload on the flight crew, eliminating the need for a flight engineer and navigator. The flight plan is a primary function of the FMS. The FMS includes several components. The Flight Management Computer, or FMC, the Control Display Unit, or CDU, and a Multifunction Display, or MFD, Electronic Flight Instrument System, or EFIS, or a Navigation Display. The Dash 8 CDU is not functional. To use the x 11 CDU, First define a custom key press to invoke it. In this example we will create a flight plan from Nice to Geneva. We will depart from Nice runway 04 left using the Paris 6A standard instrument departure or SID. and we will follow the retno and LTP waypoints before joining the Bellus 1N standard arrival terminating with the ILS approach for Geneva runway 05 The CDU consists of the display and a series of keys Keypad input appears on the scratchpad at the bottom of the display. Text in the scratchpad is then entered using the appropriate line select key. To clear a scratchpad message, or to clear the last character entered, press the clear key. The page keys are used to select the desired primary function. To begin programming the CDU with the flight plan, press the flight plan key. To clear the scratch pad, press the clear key. To enter the departure or origin airport, enter LFMN in the scratch pad and press LSK left 1. To enter the destination airport, enter LSGG and press LSK right 1. For this example we will enter BE6301 as the flight number. Enter BE6301 and press LSK right 3. Note that the execute light is illuminated. Pushing the execute key generates steering commands for the flight control systems. The flight plan can then be reviewed before it is activated for use as a steering source by the FMS. This part of the flight plan can now be activated. To activate the flight plan, press the execute key. Press the departure arrival key. To enter the Paris 6A SID, press LSK left 1. Select runway 04 right with LSK right 2. Then locate the Paris 6A SID with the next page key and press LSK left 1. Execute the flight plan. To view the updated flight plan, press the flight plan key. Note that Paris is the first waypoint. 
This is page 1 of 2. Press the next page key to view page 2. To enter the first waypoint, enter Retno and press LSK right 1. To enter the second waypoint, enter LTP and press LSK right 2. If desired, the current flight plan modification can be cancelled by pressing LSK left 6. Execute the flight plan. Return to the departure arrival page. To enter the Bellus 1N star, press LSK right 2. Locate the Bellus 1N star with the next page key and press LSK left 1. To enter the instrument approach, press LSK right 2 to select ILS runway 05. And to select the Indus transition, press LSK right 3. Execute the flight plan. Note that we have a discontinuity on the second page of the flight plan, between LTP and CBY. To remove the discontinuity, press the delete key and press LSK right free. Execute the flight plan. To view the climb page, press the climb key. Climb speed is dependent on the airline. In this example we will set a target speed of 210 knots and a speed limit of 160 knots below 10,000 feet. To set the target speed, enter 210 and press LSK left 1. To set the speed and altitude limit, enter 160 slash 10,000 and press LSK left 2. Transition altitude at Nice is 5,000 feet. To set the transition altitude, enter 5000 and press LSK right 1. To view the cruise page, press the cruise key. To set a cruise speed of 300 knots, enter 300 and press LSK left 1. To set a cruise altitude of 18,000 feet, Enter 180 and press LSK right 1. To view the descent page, press the descent key. To set a target speed of 240 knots, enter 240 and press LSK left 1. To set a speed limit below 10,000 feet of 250 knots, enter 250 slash 10,000 and press LSK left 2. Transition flight level is by ATC. The vertical path angle is the descent angle shown on some non-precision approaches. It describes the descent path from the final approach fix 
to the threshold crossing height. The descent angle for Geneva runway 05 is 3.0 degrees. To set a vertical path angle of 3 degrees, enter 3 and press LSK right 3. The legs pages contain detailed flight plan information. To view the legs pages, press the legs key. Distances between points are in nautical miles. Speed in knots is displayed to the left of the slash and altitude to the right. An up arrow indicates climbing, a down arrow descending. Angle of descent is shown. A 3 degree descent rate provides a slow, steady and comfortable descent for passengers. 3 degrees is 5.24%. There are several ways to calculate descent rate in feet per minute. Divide ground speed by 2 and add a 0. Or multiply ground speed by 5. To be more accurate, add 10%. Ground speed can be found on the MFD. To view the progress page, press the progress key. Progress page 1 of 2 shows flight plan and performance data. Page 2 of 2 shows the wind and temperature effects on the aircraft. Progress page 1 of 2 shows Last 2 Next and destination waypoints and top of descent. Distance to or from the associated waypoints and top of descent and estimated time of arrival in Zulu time to the 2 Next and destination waypoints and top of descent. The last waypoint is the last waypoint passed in the flight plan. Distance shown for the last waypoint is the distance from that waypoint. The two waypoint is the active waypoint. Distance is the distance to the two waypoint. ETE is the estimated time of arrival at the two waypoint. The next waypoint is the waypoint following the two waypoint in the flight plan. Distance is the distance from the current position of the aircraft to the next waypoint. ETE for the next waypoint is the estimated time of arrival at the next waypoint. The destination waypoint is the same as the destination airport on the flight plan page. Distance and ETE are projected for the destination airport and are calculated from the current position of the aircraft along the flight plan route. Progress page 2 of 2 shows Headwind or tailwind component, crosswind component, wind direction and speed, SAT, ISA temperature and deviation, cross track distance in nautical miles, and true airspeed. The cross track error is the angular distance to the left or right of the desired track to the aircraft track. To view the direct two pages, press the direct two key. Waypoints are listed on the left and waypoint altitudes on the right. To change altitude at a waypoint, enter the desired altitude and click the relevant right LSK. The current pre-selector altitude is displayed in white in the lower right corner. To select a direct to waypoint from the list, select the desired waypoint and press LFK left 1 and execute the flight plan. To view the nearest airports list, Press LSK right 1. Select an airport from the list to create a direct to flight plan. To view the hold page, press the hold key. To select a waypoint as a hold, press the relevant LSK left and LSK left 6. On the Modify Flight Plan Hold page, you can modify an existing hold or enter a new hold with the new hold line select key. The Modify Flight Plan Hold page shows the waypoint identifier of the holding fix, FAA ICO holding speed selection, quad radial for the hold entry, maximum knots indicated airspeed holding speed, 
inbound course to the fix and the turn direction of the hold, leg time and leg distance of the hold, and align key selection for entering a new hold. To view the fix info pages, press the fix key. The fix info pages are used to enter reference fixes. A fix reference can be a waypoint, navigation aid, or airport. A flight plan can have up to two fixes. To create the first reference fix, enter the name in the scratchpad and press LSK left one. There are four types of fixes. A beam, radial, distance, and latitude or longitude crossing point. And a beam fix is the point on your flight plan where the reference waypoint is perpendicular to a flight plan leg. A radial fix is the point at which a specific radial from the reference waypoint intersects your flight plan. A distance fix is the point at which a specific distance from the reference waypoint intersects your flight plan. A latitude or longitude crossfix is the point where the specified latitude or longitude entry intersects your flight plan. Once a fix reference has been entered into the reference prompt, the fix info page shows the course, distance and estimated time en route from the fix reference to the present position of the aircraft. Flight plans can be saved and loaded. To save the current flight plan, Open the flight plan page, enter the desired name, press LSK left 6, select pilot route list, and press LSK left 6 to save the active route. To load a flight plan, press the index key, press LSK right 1, press LSK left 2 to select the core route list, and select the desired flight plan. The flight plan is now complete. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe.